So we've got the green smoothie here. Remember, I'm going to break down all of your meals for you, but we, we're doing the green smoothie at breakfast because we're trying to save time. Everybody's always trying to save time at breakfast. So I'm going to break down all the ingredients for you and why I use them. We've got the banana. We use the banana for consistency in the smoothie so it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to use the turmeric. The turmeric actually is an anti-inflammatory, and I like to use the root. I get the root at a PCC or a Whole Foods. Um, we're going to use coconut oil. Coconut oil is to put a little bit of fat in there. It'll help hold you over a little bit longer. Um, then we're going to use kale. You can use any leafy green you want. I actually switch up my leafy greens. Uh, I use kale one day, use spinach another day. Um, and then I always use blueberries and mangoes. You can switch up those different ingredients on your own. And you know you can try out and see what you like. This is just what I like to do. But um, you know, mess with it a little bit to find out what you like. So when, when you come back, uh, you're gonna want to Put it down real quick. So one full banana. I just throw the whole banana in there. Watch how quick this is. I make this smoothie really quick, so there's no excuses not to have something nutritious for breakfast. I take my turmeric root, I just break off a little piece of it, about like yay big, not that big. Um, then I take a little bit of coconut oil, right here, nice little chunk. Just about that big, okay? Just throw it in there. All right, so now I've got my basics in here and I'm gonna go for my blueberries. A little bit of blueberries. A little bit of mangoes. And now this is another key. When I take the greens, I actually take the stem out. The stem is going to give you more of a, like a fibrous taste, it doesn't make it taste so good. So I take the greens off just like this, actually peel them off, and so I don't use the stems. One of the benefits of having the greens in there is that it's a little bit more fiber for you. So the fiber will actually help hold over, help the smoothie hold you over for longer. As opposed to just having a smoothie with fruit in it which will make you hungry within like 30 minutes after having it. So this will hold you over quite a bit longer. So then I put greens in. Now for your first time, you want to make sure that you don't put too many greens in. You want to adjust to see how, how much your stomach can handle. If you haven't done it before, it takes time for your stomach to adjust to it to be able to break down the greens. Um, so we're just going to put a little bit of greens in there today. I usually put quite a bit more. And then we actually mix it with water. You might think, oh, should I do orange juice or anything like that? No, you're going to get the taste from the fruit in there. And then I fill the water up just to the line. You can see right here, just the line of the, the frozen fruit. And then, obviously, a Vitamix is always preferable. But if you don't want to have a Vitamix, if you don't have one, you don't want to pay for one, that's more understandable. You don't have to. You can do this with a normal blender as well, especially if you're taking the stems out. And then just blend it down. So, let's see. So then make sure you stir it up a little bit. You don't want to blend it for too long, but you want to blend it just the right amount. That's it. Alright. Oh, okay. I'll taste it.